Yes, sir, PFG family, man. We are finally back with another video, man. Like always, don't forget to smack that subscribe button and like the video on the way in. So first and foremost, guys, I have to start off by apologizing, man. I know that I have missed several days of uploading and I promise you I'm not quitting the channel or none of that weird type stuff. Your boy has actually been pretty sick. Like, I don't think I got that stuff, man, but I, I've been actually pretty sick and a little bit under the weather, bruh. So I have actually missed a few days, but no need to worry, man. I am back, bruh. The channel is back and we just finna keep grinding like we were before. So without further ado, man, let's not even talk too much. Let's just go ahead and get straight into it, bruh. Go ahead and peep the view, peep the scene, bruh. I'm out here, you know, just blowing some of that, um, I think this is some of that skunk. You know with our guitar <laughs> and just check the view bro it's just a whole vibe man but we have a very very busy day so i'm actually gonna go ahead and put some of that or put the skunk out man and let's go ahead and start off by doing a quick outfit check we're gonna go ahead and get real detail with it well now nah, we ain't really got too much time to do all that y'all see i got on the uh the ferrari 14s i believe i got on the jeans you know the da vinci jeans with the zipper on the side with the gas stripes shirt the beard on point the waves on point and the gucci shades guys so let's go ahead and get straight into it man so we have a very 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 busy day um i'm sure you guys saw the thumbnail already so you guys know that we are taking the hellcat to the track bro we have to go pick up the hellcat we went ahead and got it wrapped and put some rims on there now about the rims i'm gonna go ahead and touch on that a little later because guys we like to play realistic so we'll talk about that a little later but um, I know you guys want to see some drag racing, and we're definitely going to go ahead and do that. But this is play for real gaming, man. This is PFG. You don't just buy a car off the lot and immediately take it to the dra drag strip. No, you got to go learn the car. You got to get a feel of it, how it rides, how it handles, all of that good stuff. So we're going to be taking the Hellcat to the track. And when I say the track, bro, I'm not talking about the damn airport, you know, like everybody else do. Oh, let's maybe do circles at the airport. No, we're going to the official, bro, the official track, man. I went ahead and laid down a couple hundred dollars to rent the track out for the day. So we're going to go ahead and do that. But first, before we get to that, bro, what we actually have to do man y'all know that this channel i know this is a hood life series but we are focused on our grown man type shit too so we are actually focusing on trying to you know build wealth and generate wealth so we are actually going to go look at another rental property today guys so this is going to be super dope and y'all know like i mentioned before your your uh image is everything your image is everything people make so many uh, opinions about you before you even open your mouth just based on your image so that is why i actually went ahead and rented another car bro this one is a beauty bro a beauty the 2020 2020 uh amg gtr roadster bro so we actually went ahead and rented this bad boy just to go look at this property um let's go ahead and hop in man this thing is beautiful bro as a matter of fact let's go ahead and drop the top first man i'm feeling i'm feeling like that i'm feeling like that look at the insides man this thing is beautiful but yeah we went ahead and rented this just to go ahead and and look at this house guys I, what i need to do is get uh, oh damn i almost wrecked i need to get us a, a a luxury car bro because i'm not trying to you know go be looking at the rental properties and you know going to the uh the places that we own in the damn hellcat no we need like a Benz or something like that you know just something clean like grown man gq smooth type shit so yeah that's something we can work on you know later in the future uh but yeah guys there's something i also wanted to go ahead and touch on and talk to you guys about is very 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 important and that is mud made and money changes everything now guys you have to understand that i love those series like those series are literally the first two series on the channel uh if you're a day one subscribers then mud made is basically the reason why you subscribed in the first place so guys those are my babies like those channels are not going anywhere i love those channels i want to emphasize that how important those channels are to me but there's one thing that you guys got to understand i know you guys like watching the videos but i actually have goals and this youtube stuff is a like basically a job for me like i'm making money from this now so eventually here pretty soon i want to be able to quit my full-time job just like you guys go to school for eight hours or go to work for eight and ten hours i do as well so my goal is to be able to quit that job and do youtube full-time right so when i was doing mud made and money changes everything i was getting like 10 8 7 
13, 14 subscribers a day, right? Now that we've been doing this series, I've been getting 100, 120, 150, 90, 80, 70, 60 subscribers every single day. So you have to look at it like a business. So basically what I'm saying is, guys, there will always be a mud made series. There will always be a money changes everything series. And I'm going to be starting new series. But guys, you have to make business decisions. So that's why my main focus is this channel. I'm trying to get to the point to where, if, bruh, if I, if I don't have a, if, if this is my full time job, I can upload four, five, six, seven, eight videos a day. So y'all can get mud made three or four times a week. But you have to understand, guys, I work eight hours a day, right? from eight to five right after i get off work i go to the gym for about two hours so that makes it about eight o'clock when i get home right so then when you look at mud made i'm not going i'm not going to get too long winded i just want to let y'all know i want to be we family right we supposed to be family so i want to be real and clear and, and and just just clear with you guys guys mud made takes about a week a week maybe even a week and a half to make not only do i have to write out the script I have to do the storyline. I have to download every single mod, all those textures from the, the Fruity Pebbles box to the, the real pistol texture to the extended, all of that stuff. I have to download all of that. I have to find music for the series. I have to uh, send the script out to the, the voice actors. I have to create a thumbnail. I have to do the basketball and football gameplay and then do the voiceover and narration to that and then add music and effects to that. So basically all of that stuff takes about a week to do. Right. So there's no way I can do daily episodes when I'm working full time and also still trying to go to the gym and all the other things. These lights is taking so long. So, guys, that's why I'm focusing on this series right now, because I'm able to put out a lot of content. So what I'm really going to try to do is, is manage my time a lot better and focus on all three series. So what I plan on doing is doing the Grand Theft Auto, the series you're watching right now. I want to do that throughout the week. And then on the weekends, I want to drop a mud made and money changes everything series but again it's a lot that goes into that so that's something that i'm working on but i see you guys in the comment section and i definitely 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 appreciate all the love and support that you're showing to those series again those are like the series that made the channel i love creating like that's true like craftsmanship i'm literally creating my own my career so i love that and that's not going anywhere guys i just want to be honest and clear and, and, and let you guys know where my head is okay so with that being said, um, we are actually not too far away from these this rental space uh, that we may go ahead and buy. So I will actually see you guys there. All right, guys. So we finally made it to the rental property. I guess the rental site. I don't really know what to call this, man. But uh, looks like we actually beat our real estate agent here. So I got a little bit of time to talk to you guys before she actually arrives. But this is actually it. Now, I know when you're looking at it, it's like, man, what the hell is this? This ain't no house. This ain't no apartment. But guys, you have to have vision and there's nothing better than building from the ground up. So you guys see all of these lots, you know, with just the, uh, you know, just the basis, just the base of it. Um, you know, no roof, none of that, just the bones. Well, guys, what I'm thinking is maybe we can actually purchase one of these houses or one of these lots and either we can actually live out of it or we can even rent. You know, we can rent one of these houses out and that way the money that we get from rent, we can actually use to purchase us our own bins like you see right there. We can purchase that and much more. So um, I know, like, like I always tell you guys, you have to have a vision in everything you do in life. You have to have a vision. That's why when you go to my Instagram, you see that I got my logo. The PFG logo is framed. It's framed and hung on my wall. So that's the first thing I see every single morning. That's the first thing I think about is growing like a huge YouTube channel, guys. So that's having a vision. So with this real estate stuff, I'm getting ready to go ahead and show you guys my vision for, I don't know why I'm just walking around in circles like a weirdo, but I'm getting ready to show you guys my vision for, you know, what's to come with this, um, you know, this area right here. So guys, go ahead and comment down below if we should purchase. I'm getting ready to show you a video, so just bear with me. But after you see the video, comment down below and let me know if we should purchase one of these houses or should we just still focus on the uh, the car shop or that house in Beverly Hills that I showed you guys before. Go ahead and comment down below and let me know what you think. All right. 
right, guys, man, like I said, go ahead and do me a favor and let me know which property of the three properties we have looked at so far in the series should we go ahead and purchase. Man, bro, the time has officially come. I'm, I wasn't actually expecting them to be done with our truck so early. Well, I guess it's not early. We dropped that thing off a long time ago, but our truck is actually ready. Um, and since I haven't driven the Hellcat, you know, with all the modifications and, and updates and being all souped up, I'm actually going to put the um, the Hellcat on the truck and we'll go ahead and drive both of them to the track, bro. Bro, I am so excited for you guys to see this, man. I don't know what y'all gonna think. Y'all really be on my head a lot. Just about everything I do, man, y'all find something wrong with. So I'm hoping, I'm hoping this one is perfect for you guys. Um, we actually did go ahead and spend quite a bit of money um, on, on, you know, getting everything repainted and restitched. So we'll go ahead and check that out. Right now, bro, we have $654,867. So we spent close to like $35,000 on getting the truck repainted getting the modifications um added on to the charger as well as uh getting that wrapped as well so being that it is a wrap guys if you guys don't like it we can go ahead and get it rewrapped or you know hopefully you guys do like it man so without further ado bruh let's go ahead and check this thing out um this isn't my main car shop i think i may if we get a new car i'll probably try out my other guy but this dude's been doing good work for us so like i said i hope you guys like it man here it is Yes, sir, guys, man, take a look at this, bruh. Let me turn my lights on. Take a look at this. That is our truck that we went ahead and got painted for our business. And you see that big old Hellcat wide body sitting on the back with the, bruh. Like, this is just a beautiful, beautiful image, man. Like, everything about this is just so monumental. Like, you have to understand that we literally come from nothing. We come from a Honda Civic, bruh. Or was it a Honda Accord? I think it was a Civic. Anyways, I don't know why these cars are stopping. I really don't care. But anyways, why are they getting out the way? Oh, because we got our lights on. I should probably turn them shits off. <laughs> no wonder they were stopping. But yes, we actually come from a Honda Civic, bro, that went out on us. And we worked our way up to the Chrysler 300. And y'all know what they did to that, man. And then the truck, they blew up the truck and the Impala. Like, we literally come from nothing to look at this, bro. Look at this on the way to the track, man. And, and our bank account is full. So guys, this is truly, truly monumental. I am so excited to get to this track. Um, one thing I was gonna touch on about the rims, being that this is actually such a fast car, I really didn't feel comfortable, you know, putting such big rims, like some 24s or 26s on it. Cause this is actually like a sports car. We ain't trying to use this one to be flashy. We just trying to get, you know, get from point A to point B really, really quick. So if you guys think we should put some 26s on here, man, let me know. But I think these rims we got on here look really good. But once we actually get to the track uh, in the trunk of the Charger, I actually have our stock rims. Cause y'all crazy if y'all think I'm taking these bad. These these, these sexy rims i'm definitely not putting them on the track guys so um man y'all let me know what y'all think down below about the new wrap and the, the 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 truck you know we got the truck in all black i figured that would be like a good touch you know just something real sleek and in and, and professional um i'm honestly thinking about getting rid of this truck truck i'll be honest with you because i was thinking man our loads like we probably not gonna make too much money let me turn these lights on so they get out the way bro oh that was probably a bad idea damn i think i didn't cause the traffic jam i'm just gonna slide through here excuse me yeah guys we probably not gonna make too much money because all of our loads would be small you know just like this just one car that probably pay like like maybe like at the most like 10 10 000 or something like that to get shipped to, you know shipped across the state so i'm thinking about actually purchasing like a bigger truck like a, a semi truck guys like so that's something 
you know to look forward to i think i think that may be the move guys but like i said man we have a lot in store for this series i know y'all like that hood life stuff the, the 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 crazy the drama the shooting guys i promise you I, I got I got a lot of stuff in store for for you. If you know anything, if you guys have watched Mud Made and Money Changes Everything, then you know. Put your faith in PFG, PFG, and I will deliver, bro. I promise. So yeah, man, we are not too far away from the track. I'm gonna get there. I'm gonna have them go ahead and change out the Rams on the Charger. Put our stock Rams on there and um, get the car unloaded and everything, guys. I will see you as soon as we get there, bro all right guys so we finally made it over to the track man and as you can see unfortunately it has started to rain so unfortunately we're not going to be able to get no i'm playing bro y'all know way better than that man we still finna take the hellcat out on the track man the guys actually were super super nice being that we rented out the track um so they went ahead and helped me take the well they didn't even help they did it themselves they took the tires off the car bro i'm so excited for this man so without further ado there's the car wait where the hell did the where did the car what no i'm playing the car is on the other side guys let's go ahead and get straight to it man oh that thing is just so beautiful bro even with the rims off of it man that thing is so beautiful so guys i hope you're ready man if you haven't headphones cover your ears i'm warning you now this first startup it's finna be insane, bruh. So let's go ahead and hop in, start this bad boy up, and put it on the track, man. Here we go. Oh, shit. Wait. <laughs> Hold on. All right, man. Here we go. I got to start this bitch. You ready? Here we go. Yes, sir. Look, I can barely keep it apart. Yes, sir. Listen to that thing, man. Yes, sir, guys. That is actually so much. It's so much uh, additional horsepower and stuff that we added on to it, guys. So, honestly, I do not know how we are going to do on a track, man, with it being so fast. Like, like look. <laughs> I feel like I'm just going to pop up and pop a willy, bro, for real. So, guys, this is the track, man. Like I said, it is an official track. We're not out here at the airport. And since we got the track by ourselves, man, we might as well just go ahead and hit this one. Oh. oh shit! Man, we going the wrong way, man. I'm just gonna go ahead and turn around, bro. This thing is fast, dog. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and keep it pure with y'all because I do not want to end up dying. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna um make it to where the car can't get damaged. Let me see. We're gonna go ahead and turn on the invincibility on. That way, you know, we can just kind of have a little bit of fun without having to worry about paying for the car, guys. So without further, I'm going to do a little bit of first person, but I'm going to go ahead and give you guys a warning. This track is extremely, like extremely, extremely, extremely long. So we're not going to do the whole track. We're just going to test the car out before we take it to the drag strip, man. Just look at it, bro. This thing is beautiful. So yeah, we'll go ahead and test the car out before we take it to the strip. It's so fast. I don't know what to expect, man, but let's go ahead and get straight to it, man. There's so many turns and stuff, like it's not just a straightaway, and I don't I don't really know the track, bro. So I'm gonna try my best. Oh <laughs> Y'all see what's going on, man. This thing is sliding. It's kinda hard to even see with the rain, man. This thing is fast as hell, bro. Hey, we in there! Oh, oh. I'm hung in a hornet. Bro, tell me. Ah oh, man, that would have been perfect. Okay, let me go ahead and slow it down, man. I'm a professional. There we go. Ah, bro, it's so hard to keep this thing straight. This car with these uh, with these upgrades, I do not believe is made for the track, man. <laughs> hey, man, y'all do not be in the comment section on my head, bro. I'm literally trying to. You know what, man? I'm gonna go ahead and keep it pure with y'all. We're gonna turn the rain off simply because I wanna see how I can drive. So let's go ahead and turn the rain off really quick. Uh, so the track is still a little bit wet, but the rain is off. So I wanna see if that's just me driving horribly or if that's just because of the rain. Oh yeah, that's definitely me driving horribly. Or maybe the car is just too overpowered, bruh. I'm trying my best to stay center. And believe it or not, I'm literally not, not really hitting the, um, 
the the e-brake bro i'm hitting it a little bit i'm gonna try not to hit it at all and just try to focus let's go from first person bro look at the heads up display we got oh 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 <laughs> oh my goodness bro like i said guys i'm gonna keep it pure we went ahead and made the vehicle invincible that way it don't blow up or we don't go through the damn windshield so forgive me for that guys i just want to have a little bit of fun on the track man um also i know before y'all be on my head where you get the track from bro i don't i don't mind it i'm just talking but uh yeah i'll go ahead and leave a link to the track um in the in the uh video description it is very beautiful as you guys can see like i said this thing is probably like like at least like 20 <laughs> like 20 miles in real life oh oh okay we good we good we good we good I'm trying to keep this thing straight as like a handful i'm trying to But do y'all hear the engine though? I think we honestly, I think with a little bit more tuning, we may very well be ready for the, uh, for the drag, bruh. For that drag strip, man. Like I said, I really don't think this is a track car. I think this is more so like a straightaway car because this thing is hard to handle. Yeah. Oh, yeah. My bad, y'all. <laughs> My bad, y'all. I'm trying to keep this thing straight, man, but it is too damn hard, bruh. Or maybe I'm just driving too fast. I'm sure y'all y'all let me know in the comment section like dumbass it's not built for the track it's built for for straightaways whatever here we go all right we got a big time right here watch this oh I'm in my bag oh I'm in my bag <laughs> oh I almost had it bruh I almost had it all right all right all right, all right. okay okay yeah we getting down through there now we getting down through there now Okay, I don't know what I need a mat. Oh damn! Oh, we almost flipped that bitch. You can think the ambulance is right there. I need a map so I can see what's coming up. I think that's the one thing that. Oh, that was clean. I should have recorded that. I think that's the one thing that I'm missing that would probably help out is uh, me being able to see what type of turns are coming ahead. That would be very beneficial in a car like this, bro. Oh, I'm sideways. Oh, I'm sideways. I wish we had somebody to get out here and race with, man. I may see if I can get some uh, some races added. Oh, yes, sir. I'm getting the hang of it now, bro. I'm getting the hang of it now. Oh, we in the grass with it. Don't worry about that. Y'all ain't see that. Ah, man. Dang. I want to get loose, but shit, we getting way too loose. Okay. Yeah, bro. We, we definitely going to... Oh, damn. I'm tripping, man. All right. Let me see if I can go a little bit without crashing. We're going to try to... Make a little bit of a challenge, man. We're going to try to go without crashing. Ah, bruh, yeah, this shit is almost impossible. This car is, like, way too overpowered. But we know now, you know, we definitely need a, um, a track car, man. Like a, I don't know. It's like you can give it a little bit of gas around the corner, but too much gas is, is obviously, you know, deadly, bruh. If we didn't have on that invincibility mode, I'm pretty sure we probably would have blew up by now, but. Oh, tell me that wasn't clean, bruh. Tell me that was not clean. That was just a little bit of break. I completely let off the gas. That, that's what I'm saying. Like, the car has a very good reaction system, but it's so overpowered that that shit <laughs> you ain't got no control. But I, I hope you guys uh, do me a favor, man. Actually. Go back and listen to the, the video when we first got the car, man, and listen to it now, man. That thing sounds like a monster, bro. That's that Hellcat, man. We went ahead and got everything tuned, everything aligned. We still need to do some tuning, obviously, maybe with our suspension or, I don't know, wheel alignment or something because this thing is all over the place. We getting the hang of it, though. Let me try. I'm going to try to do some first person, man. This is almost impossible to do. Oh, this is a good camera view. It's just almost impossible to do first person in this thing. It looks so nice with that heads up display, but. No ah, damn. Hey, we went sideways in that bitch. All right, man. We, we here. All right, all right. We at 180 again. Seems like that's the max. Oh, damn. Yeah, bro. It's impossible to do first person. Seems like 180 is the uh, the max that, we can, that we've gotten in this car. I'm going to try to. Find us a little bit of a straightaway and see if we can top that 180. Right now, through these turns, bro, I'm barely even. I'm barely even on the gas, man, because this is too damn fast. But this camera angle seems to be helping out a lot. 
Ah, damn. See, I try to get freaky, but it won't let me, man. I'm sorry, y'all. I thought... <laughs> I don't know what I thought. I thought the car was going to perform. I mean, it's performing how it's supposed to. I guess it's not a track car. See what I'm saying, man? All right, here we go. I'll try to get freaky with it. <laughs> yeah, bro, I tried to get freaky with it. All right, man. So I think we failed with the whole driving first person. We failed with not crashing, bro. This day has been a fail, guys. Oh my goodness. Let me see. I think one of y'all just messaged me on IG. Oh damn, I'm crashing. Let me see who met. Oh my controller came unplugged. That's what it was. There we go. Let me see who messaged me on IG real quick. Uh, 1268 GAD G A D liked my photo, bro. If you're watching the video, man, I definitely, definitely appreciate you, Brody. Y'all go ahead and make sure you're subscribed uh, to the channel, of course, and follow me on Instagram. Uh, the Instagram, of course, is just Play For Real Gaming. Um, that's where I do like a lot of behind the scenes uh, footage, and I'm gonna be doing a lot more. I'm gonna make a Snapchat here pretty soon as well for you guys. Um, and oh yeah face reveal guys face reveal so basically uh, the face reveal is coming i plan on doing it by the end of the month uh, and i'm also going to reveal reveal my first youtube check so guys uh i got that coming as well i don't know why y'all want to see my face i don't <laughs> I, <laughs> I ain't the, the cutest thing but uh i'll go ahead and do a face reveal guys so yeah we have a lot of exciting stuff coming oh ah, i couldn't keep it i couldn't keep it man oh my goodness but yeah guys we have a lot of exciting stuff coming up on the channel man um like i said i apologize man i was missing you guys so much um i get so many instagram messages so if i haven't responded to you on instagram oh there we go hey look at it where we at where we at where's damn 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 get the phone 180 180 is the max bro oh shit bro <laughs> We hit the wall so hard we just froze but yeah it looks like 180 is the max i think that uh that speedometer is lying to us um on the right hand side but anyways yeah if i missed your instagram messages guys i'm sorry um i'm gonna go ahead and after this video gets uploaded reply to each and every single one of you guys hey is this the beginning of the track bro we did the whole entire track that's dope man but yeah oh oh shoot <laughs> we got quite a bit of texture loss but yes guys we finally made it back man um but yeah i'm gonna go ahead and respond to you guys on instagram the instagram is play for real gaming uh like literally bro i'm gonna drop so many videos this weekend to make up for the days that i miss i'm also gonna be working on mud made and money changes everything guys like again i cannot state it enough man you guys are helping me reach my goal of being self-employed i'm tired of working at this damn job so y'all help me get up out of here and subscribe to the channel man like the video and I think that, that hey that's it for this one man i'm gonna drop another one uh, i'm dropping hella videos this weekend so make sure you have your uh post notifications turned on again subscribe and i'm on to the next one